Deuteronomy 25.15 You shall have a correct and honest weight. You shall have a correct and honest measure, so that your days may be prolonged in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Hi, this is Joshua Feldman from iGold. Today I wanted to make a short educational video just about uh, precious metals and specifically about the weights and measures of the precious metals that we sell. So this week we had a question from a customer who came to collect their products. Why do the coins manufactured by government mint not all weigh exactly the same? And when I mean exact, I mean one ounce is 31.1 grams. This is the industry standard of a precious metal troy ounce. How come some coins weigh 31.11, some weigh 31.19, some even weigh 31.20? So what is happening? Is the gold fake? Is it real? It passes all the tests, but the, the weight is up to a tenth or even down to one hundredth of an ounce difference. Does this mean that the coins are fake? Does it mean the coins are not real? So we're going to have a look at a few of the coins. In fact, we're going to open up a sealed package of some silver coins. Um, where you can see the difference in the weight uh, very pronounced but in general to before we continue with the video to answer your question um, no every coin is not exactly the same weight this is not possible when the government makes a coin they have their tolerance limits which is up to about a tenth of an ounce so you will see coins and bars made by a government weighing 31.1 up to 31.2 grams that's a tenth of an ounce difference if it weighs less than 31.1 grams, yes, then there's a problem. Because when the government produces the products, they have their own quality control. And if they find a coin which is lower than 31.1, that means the public is actually not receiving a full ounce, they will remove that coin from production, melt it, and make a new coin. But if the coin is slightly overweight, by a hundredth, even up to a tenth of a gram, then um, I believe uh, the government allows it to pass through. It's not worth the cost. To melt such a beautiful coin down for such a small amount okay so here we are back we have everything set up we have a selection of gold coins uh, australian kangaroo three british uh, philharmonic and a one ounce pamp gold bar which we opened from its sealed packaging uh, just for interest the one ounce pamp gold bar should weigh according to the packaging it's a bit difficult to think 31.1 grams that's one troy ounce, 31.10. So while we're measuring these coins, we expect it to be 31.10, but in reality, like in all things, not everything is perfect. The government isn't attempting to be perfect in its production. It's, the government's trying to produce a one ounce coin, not less than an ounce, at least an ounce. And within a tolerance, they don't want to produce a 34 gram coin, they'll lose money. They want to produce a 31.1 gram coin, and as close to that as possible without it going over budget. So how do we make sure that our products that we import to Israel are authentic? First of all, we're the authorized distributor of PAMP Swiss in the Middle East. So all our products come from a very large refinery in Switzerland. We purchase from their daughter company in the United States and it comes directly to Israel. Also, we purchase retail products such as this American Silver Eagle, which we're going to open now on camera at 2022. These are actually very expensive uh, because the US Mint has production problems. And we're going to weigh it and see if we get exactly 31.1 grams or something different. Um, so starting off, let's start with the gold. First of all, we check it with our precious metal verifier. Here's the Austrian Philharmonic coin 2020. You can see on the device, uh, yeah, there's two arrows. The top arrow tests the surface of the coin. It's inside the green. The bottom arrow tests throughout the coin. So inside is gold from the top to the bottom, and also the surface is gold. Let's see how much a philharmonic weighs. 31.12. It's pretty close. 31.11. One hundredth of a gram within, uh, within the limit of one ounce. Next, we'll try a... Australian kangaroo. Uh, can't see it very well, but there's the green arrow. There's the green arrow within the green. Uh, it's authentic. 31.11. That's an Australian kangaroo. Now we're going to check the British. Again, the two arrows inside the green, inside the green. 
I'll do a close up at the end so you can see more clearly. 31.22. So in this case, this coin is slightly overweight. And by almost a tenth, a tenth of a gram. Uh, does that mean it's fake? No, it passes all the tests, it's the correct weight, it has the correct resistivity, and we purchased it through one of our authorized suppliers. The next British coin. Green arrow, green arrow. 31.2, two hundredths, 31.19, uh, 31.2, tenth of a gram over. Does it mean it's fake? No, it has all the security features. For one ounce Britannia. Again, we check green, green. 31.13. This coin is three hundredths of a gram within the tolerable limit. Does that mean it's a, a fake coin because it's not um, exactly 31.1? No, it just means it's within its tolerance of production, which is usually about a tenth of a gram. So if you find a coin 31.12, 31.22, that's fine. Let's see, usually uh, Pam Swiss, it's a private refinery, so their tolerances are much closer. So I would expect this, um, I would expect this gold bar uh, to be pretty much exactly what's written on the I expect it to be pretty much written uh, the same weight as what's written on the assay certificate. C282867, C282867. So this one I expect to be almost accurate. 31.1. Very accurate because it's a private refinery. And this is a Pam Swiss. Okay. Now let's look at um, Israel Mint. So Israel Mint, it's one of the top producers of gold and silver products in Israel. They produce amazingly beautiful coins. This one, unfortunately, I've, um, didn't uh, protect it very well in this plastic packaging, and you can see there's a bit of um, uh, oxidation on the silver. So you can see, let me try and get a good picture. You can see it's a bit black. It doesn't change the value of the coin. It's still one ounce coin. So let's see how accurate Israel Mint is. 31.17. One six, six, six hundredths of a gram over one exactly one ounce. Does that mean it's fake? No, it's authentic, it's real. It even has the oxidation that comes with uh, uh, pure silver. Let's try the second coin 31.16. This is 31.24, exact same coin. You're not going to find every single coin exactly 31.10. It's not worth the time of the manufacturer to uh, take the coin off uh, the conveyor belt, melt it back down, create a new coin, or even mill it, or even um, shave off uh, one hundredth of a gram. It's not worth it, and this is why you always get this limit. So as I promised on camera, we'll open up this American Eagle 2022 from Apex. focus too well. Uh, let's change this to silver. Pure silver. Uh, yeah, you'll see the device. Uh, let's see if we can get a good... Uh, there it's pure silver. Because the American Silver Eagles 49s, it shows up slightly into the orange. Does that mean it's a fake uh, silver coin from Apmex, from the US Mint? No. It just means it wants you to do an extra test which is the thickness test, so usually for the density test, so it will check the density, the thickness 2.32, we'll measure it, it's a round coin, if it's gold, if it's silver, uh, this is the exact size, from that uh, line to the green line, so we know it's the correct density, now let's look at the weight, we expect, according to um, some customers, 31.10, if it's over that, it's obviously fake. If it's under that, uh, in my opinion, uh, it's fake. Um, let's see. 31.2. Does that mean it's a fake coin? Does that mean that makes sold us a fake product? No. 
it's the correct weight, it's the correct dimension, it's the correct density, it has the correct electrical resistivity, it passes all the tests, it's an authentic coin. Um, just to show you an example again, um, let's try to test here, 31.21, a little bit of a close up here, we'll change this to gold, let's see if you can get a better view. It's really not coming out well, but there, there you can see the surface is gold and also inside the coin is gold. It's measuring the thickness of 1.82. You'll measure it. Let's check the density. It's a round coin. And as you can see, it's hard to see on the screen. But from the orange light, you put it on that line until the green line. Which means it falls, this coin falls within the green line, it's an authentic coin. In addition, if I had a more, uh, a better camera, um, let me try, um, what can I use? Let me just use a piece of paper. But you'll see here that uh, on the coin, it has all these security feet. Ooh, beautiful. You should see a lock. You should see these wavy lines. You should see the color of the shield change from light to dark. You should see a lock. There you can see the, the lock and it will change into... There you can see Natan on the bottom, the name of the artist apparently. And there's a lock. And there, there's a trident. Same as what she's holding. So even the security features of the coin point to it to be an authentic. Um, coins can vary in weight. They'll never be less than 31.1 because they'll never be less than 31.10 because when they're manufactured, if they are, the supplier or the producer immediately takes them off the production belt, puts them aside, remelts them and makes a new product. So you'll never ever find an authentic bar which is less than 31.1. If it's slightly more, like I explained, um, in fact, let's open up a Silver Britannia. This is a Silver Britannia 2021 from Appmex. Let's have a look first at the weight 31.16. 6 hundredths of a gram over. Does that mean it's fake? Certainly not. It's directly from Appmex. And the security features, we can check those too. And you can see when we put it underneath, we're checking for pure silver. Um, this is 3.9 silver, so it'll be slightly in the orange. All that means is the machine is telling you to do another test. We measure, it's a round coin. And then we bring the coin down here to check the size. You can see it's exactly the right size that it's expected to be. So its density is correct, it's an authentic coin. Thank you. Um, if you have any questions, if you're a first time buyer, uh, you're always welcome to call us and we're happy to give you um, an explanation on the different types of products that we sell. Just the last thing, some customer asked us today, um, a customer from America, they were asking about um, gold products they can break off. So this is called a Velcambi Combi Bar, a very beautiful bar. Uh, it's one ounce see there one ounce of fine gold 9999 and each little portion you can actually break off as you can see one tenth of an ounce one tenth of an ounce so if you want to, you don't have to sell the whole bar like you would with a one ounce Pam Swiss gold bar this is about uh, 8,000 shekel instead you could break off each piece 700 shekels for each piece and on the back um, you can see this is a bar number little can be Let's see if uh, it's not the, maybe the machine. Maybe it's too thin. Yeah, so you can see there. So yeah, we put the bar under the sensor, and there you can see the surface is authentic, and the inside of the bar is also pure gold. There's nothing impure inside the bar. Uh, iron, tungsten. Uh, that's how we check every product that arrives in our office. 
Thank you and uh, look forward to our next video.